Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ladia and you're watching Mimi Made It by Ladia. Well, to all of my new subscribers, thank you for joining my channel. And to my returning subscribers and viewers out there, thank you for coming back to see me once again. Today, what I want to show you is how I create what's called a tombstone saddle. And that's something that individuals will put over a loved one's uh, tombstone or headstone um, in remembrance of whether it's Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial's Day, or really just any day for the holidays, just to kind of keep that person in mind by decorating that area. So I do have uh, what's called the saddle. And the way this fits over the headstone is that you bend it to fit over the headstone and put it on top and then press it down some more. So I've got that. And then I also have some foam. Now this type of foam is used um, for this type of uh, decoration or uh, application because it stands up to the weather uh, quite a bit, much better than some of the other ones. So what I'm going to use to secure this foam onto the saddle is going to be these ties. So I'm going to start by, I'll open that up just so you can see it. I'm going to slip that tie run right under there. And I'm going to add another one on this side. And as you can hear, that kind of that clicking sound that's pulling it all together. So I've got one there and then I'm going to come on the other side and put this one in. And this is going to secure this to the saddle. And I'm just going to take something to clip this excess off. And because I'm a, a really good stickler about how things are constructed, I'm going to take a couple more and I'm going to um, attach it this way so that this won't slip out. It's in there nice and secure. So I'm going to just clip off that excess right there. And then I'm going to thread this under the bottom. And I'm going to click off clip off that excess and this is on here nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to cover up just the sides of this so that um, number one um, you won't be able to see it although some of the greenery is going to take care of that but I just want to make sure um, that you don't see any. So I bought some moss um, that is on a roll um, and I'm just going to add it around here and just pin it on with just a few of my pins. And we are going to see together just how well everything sticks in here. I'm going to add a few more because again I'm just really kind of a, a stickler. Uh, about making sure everything is in there nice and secure. Let you get a good look at that and how everything is uh, around there. It's nice and secure. And then I've got the moss on there too and that's uh, secure in there as well. So now we can move on to the actual greenery and the florals that I'm going to use for this. Um, I'm doing this design in some nice bright yellow and white flowers. I've got some daisies here. i um, got another little flower. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's awfully pretty. And I have some peonies here, my favorite. And um, I have um, a bunch of yellow flowers. And so they're going to be different varieties on here. I've got uh, some lilies. Um, I've got um, some very small hydrangeas on this bunch, some berries. And this, I think this is a rose, but that's going to all blend in real well. And of course, I have my favorite, which, which is the Ostromeria. You guys, if you watch my channel, this is one of my staples, whether it's a fresh cut or, in this case, an artificial one. And then I have some broadleaf fern um, that I may add to this. Not quite sure. I have a few pieces of that. I may use that as well. I'm going to actually start this project with is the uh, 
the leather leaf fern right here. And so I'm going to try to move very quickly through this part of it, uh, but not too fast that you don't get to see what I'm doing. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, bend these just a little bit before I put them in. So to give it a nice organic look, I'm going to dip it into my glue pot that I have right here. And I'm just going to stick it right in there. So yay, it is going right through that uh, moss uh, real good. So I'm happy about that. So I'm going to add one right there. Bend it just a little bit, a little bit of a curve. And this part of it should go pretty quickly uh, for you and for me, for that matter. I'll set you guys aside. Add that one there. Bend it just a little bit. Another one up here. And bend that one just a little bit. So as you can see, it's kind of going around. And it's covering up some of the saddle. And then, of course, since I added that, that, uh, that moss right there, it is covering up the green foam, too. Not so much worried about the green foam on the top um, because all of my uh, florals and the other greenery that I'm going to add is going to take care of that for me. So Mother's Day is coming up. It's just right around the corner. And uh, I've already started to get uh, quite a few orders um, for these uh, headstone saddles. Um, and so I'm going to be pretty busy um, with building these. And like I said, some of them will get added on my Etsy store if you just don't feel like doing one yourself. Others are going to go to my booth at uh, the upcoming events that I'm doing in May. Got a pretty busy May uh, coming up. So I'll be building several of these. And then I'll also have a uh, video where I'm going to make um, some wreaths. Now these wreaths, and I get a lot of uh, people to ask me about this type of wreath for people that have storm doors. Um, your regular wreath, because it's so thick, it won't really work so well in that. So people have asked me quite a bit, um, can you make a wreath that could fit um, in my storm door? And of course I can. And I will. And uh, when I'm ready to start building those, which will be very soon, um, I'm going to show you how to do that too. So this is how this first layer of foam looks. And you can see it's really starting to hide everything, um, but also bringing in just some beautiful green color to that too. So for the next uh, layer I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter, like right in there on all of them and bend it just a little bit, a little glue, and I'm just going to come up a little bit higher with the fern just to give it another layer in there. And again I'm bending them so that um, It'll give it a very natural look um, because everything in nature is nice and natural. A lot of things grow kind of any way that it wants to. And that is the beauty of nature, I think. Add that one right in there. See how that's just really filling that out? I'm going to hold that up so you can see it. Really filling that out and making it nice and full. I would really, really love to know if um, this is something that you try for yourself. Uh, make for either a friend or um, a family member. Uh, I think that would be great, a wonderful gift. And certainly if I'm able through my instruction and through my videos to help you with that, I am just would be so honored and so pleased. 
So I really always appreciate um, you coming to my channel and taking away some of the tips, um, just some of the ideas, inspiration for the things that you're doing, whether it's with the florals or um, with the wreaths and uh, with one of my favorites and that's tablescapes. I love doing tablescapes. Okay, that's the last one that I have in there. And again, I'm just gonna kind of bend everything, give it a little bit more natural look and I'm gonna pick it up and show you how it looks. Isn't that awesome? Just see how, how far and wide this really kind of branches out. It just looks absolutely beautiful, um, just like it is with a lot of the greenery, but of course I'm gonna start to add some of my florals. I'm going to start cutting off um, some of these pieces here. I'm gonna start with some of my taller pieces on this one. And when you cut the uh, flowers off, Make sure you cut all the way down to the end. That way, uh, it'll be easier if you need to make adjustments. You'll have room to cut versus cutting them too short. Always easier to cut more than to cut them too short. So I've got all of these. And so I'm going to kind of start working uh, with some of my longer pieces, a couple of them right up at the top. Dip that one and just kind of push that one right down in there. And then I'm going to come in with another piece that maybe is not quite as tall. clip off a little bit and just add that right next to it. It's pretty. Nice airy flowers. And I'm just going to start going around the corners. There we go. Around the corners of, I've got to watch out for that glue of this just to kind of pull the color all the way around. And I'm going to add a piece over here. And I know I'm going to get a lot of strings with this uh, glue, but um, at the end I'll take care of that. And then just go ahead and again, just kind of curve the flowers on there. See how nice and airy that's starting to look. Um, I like that. I like that uh, look in a lot of my designs. I like a real nice airy feel. And I'm going to add one right up in here. And now I'm going to start putting some pieces like right in the front. And I'll show you that. Um, let's see. Yeah, just enough. I'm going to clip that just a little bit. Add a little glue and then add that one right in there. So I've got two on the top, uh, one on each corner and then one on each side and then one on each end. I want to come in with some of the flowers from this uh, bouquet. So I clipped all of my flowers from the uh, bunch uh, that I had here. And what I'm going to do is just push all of the greenery all the way up to the top. And I kind of counted out what I had on here. I think I've got about four different uh, lilies. So I'm going to start placing those in and I'm just going to clip off just a little bit. And I think I want to start with the lily right in here. 
and then I'm going to put another one on the other side of that push that greenery all the way up make it nice and lush and beautiful then I'm going to add that one over on this side so my roses I'm going to put one on each side too it's kind of like whatever I do on one side I'm going to add uh, something different to the other side so I'm going to add a rose right in here bring that one down just a little bit lower and I've got another rose that I'm going to add on the other side diagonally and to me that's just going to give it some nice dimension um, help with the pattern design and now I am sticking to just the two colors uh, along with the greenery and that's the white and the yellow so those are my two main colors in there so that makes it a little bit easier of course the more colors that you add in there you want to make sure that you disperse those around as evenly as possible but um, I'm okay with that because I am working with just the two main colors here and I've got some small hydrangea that I'm going to add see I think I have a total of three so I'm going to add one right on this side and then I'm going to add another one right on the other side right in front and then I'm going to pick that up so you can kind of see how it looks a little bit better and I'm just bending that to give it uh, that angle to it and pushing it right down in there so here's what it's looking like oh that's so pretty so I've got my lilies one on each side and then right across from that I've got my roses and front and back I've got these little hydrangeas so I think what I'm going to do next because I just have two more lilies left I think I'm going to put a lily right in each side I, I want to come in and add some of the white peonies I'm going to clip those down too and some white flowers in there and I have plenty of the white peonies so I have a lot more to work with with these uh, pushing that greenery all the way up to the top let it shine in there and then I'm going to add one on this side right in the front and then I'm going to add one on the other side and then I'm also going to go to the corners well on the end not the corners I'll, I'll add some to the corners too but I'm going to start off by going on each end I'm going to start adding some of the white flowers on the top and I've got another bunch and I'm going to clip those off and because they're a shorter stem I'm going to um, just add these to the corners Add one to that corner so that'll stick out nice and good. Now I could add a pick to them if I wanted them to be even longer, but um, I think I'm going to leave it like it is and just let them just put them right near the top. But again, making sure that I have enough glue on there so it will hold it in there. So one on this corner. See how more and more it's starting to fill in. You can still see um, some of the green foam on top, but I've got more flowers to add to it, so we are good to go. And then I also have um, some more greenery that I want to add in here too. I like to add uh, a lot of different colors or different types of greenery to give it more interest um, in my arrangements. I generally do that quite a bit. I just think it just gives it more texture it does add to the texture on your project and it also um, 
adds to giving it more depth, more dimension. You know, it just makes you want to come closer and, and take a good look at it. So those are the daisies, quite a few of them. So those are going to fill up and be nice and springy on here too. So I'm going to start filling these in in the middle so that they can kind of lay out there. And I'm cutting them the pieces, cutting some of the stems off so I can uh, use them in other places too. Quite a bit of uh, floral on this stem I, and I really like that because it just gives you so much to work with as you're building your arrangements. Then I just kind of like to manipulate the flower in there so it looks like it's like part of a bouquet and everything's just kind of uh, growing and coming out together. I have some more, some of my smaller pieces, and I'm going to bring those on each side. I think I'm really liking this moss that I used to cover cover up the uh, green foam because it is uh, giving it a very natural look and I don't have to worry about using a lot of um, florals or greenery to cover that around. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm sure it's something um, that I'll be using again in some of my other designs. Uh, this piece is kind of tall. I think I want to come up and put some of the taller pieces right up in here with the rest of the flowers. There we go. So I've got my corners, I've got each side, and um, I've got some smaller pieces that are left over, which I always like to leave a few pieces left over so that I can come in and fill up some other areas. Now I'm going to add some of my beloved Astromeria. I'm going to cut this off too and then start working it in to this uh, arrangement. Nice and springy and airy. Oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, got some more. Now I'm going to start adding some of it on the, um, the ends of this arrangement. One on that side. So I'm going to add one on the corner right there. I'm going to pick that up again so you can see how that looks. Just love it. Now I still have some space down in here that I need to cover up and that is where some of my extra greenery is going to come in. A little glue and I'm going to push that down in there just a little bit further because that's going to help to cover up the green foam that's down in there. So these pieces are coming in just a little bit shorter because I want them to sit closer to the bottom of the um, arrangement and so it'll give me some coverage down here. I'm going to hold this up so you can see just how well those leaves are starting to cover up the greenery there. I'm going to add this color uh, leaf in there and I'm going to push them up and cut them short and add them closer to the bottom just again to do some coverage there. Um, these are really really neat um, because of the color variation that they have in there and it's going to blend in real good and it's going to give me the coverage that I need. This is giving it another um, layer 
of color spring with all of the yellow and white my spring flowers the daisies the lilies and the astromeria put it down in here there we go just a very pretty color combination and just sticking with just the white, yellow, and then the greenery to mix everything in there. Beautiful display for Mother's Day um, for, for a loved one. I will just put it that way. For whoever that spe special person is in your life that has passed on and you want to do something very nice and dress up the area of their resting place. Nice and airy, wispy, a lot of different greenery in there. Um, the flowers from a couple of bunches of uh, white peonies. I've got daisies with that really pretty yellow center. I've got another nice uh, solid color. Um, some lilies, if I didn't already say that. Oh, let's see. And then my greenery that's down in there, making that nice bed so that you don't see anything. And I think this is, uh, I'm going to call it done. <laughs> I'm going to call it done. I think it turned out just wonderful. Um, I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> it takes a little planning to get it there. But I love when I'm working on a project and it all comes together. And it turns out just the way I want it to turn out. So I hope that you like my content. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and come back for more of my fun with florals and some of my other upcoming videos. I do have a production presentation that I'm working on right now for a Tablescape. And I'm going to show that um, to you um, right around Mother's Day. So you want to make sure you subscribe and that you hit that notification button. And if you will go ahead and add a like to my channel, that would just be amazing for me. So, thank you for your time and spending your time with me today. And I always say, whatever you do and wherever you go, be blessed.